Hello. I didn't realize we had friends in here already. <laughs> you, oh, you, you sent out an email that said it's starting now. Automatic email? You what? No, they got sent out saying it's starting now. Okay, you guys are very good. I say, how are you? Good. I'm very good, thank you. Uh, please, uh, follow instructions right here. Okay. Follow instructions right here. Let me know when you're ready. When you're now, we're ready for you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I think I, I managed to let everybody bypass the waiting room, so I don't think that. That's going to be an issue this time around. Now it's just going to be making sure everyone's muted before we get started. So, Shannon, question for you. Mm -hmm. How do I share my screen for presentation or do I need to email you my slides? You don't have the little share button up at the top by the leave button. So it should say camera, mic, share. Oh, it says open share tray. Is that? Got it. Okay. That's what threw me off. It said open share tray. So then I would click on a screen and that. Can I try it really quick? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're early. Go ahead. Yeah. Cause I didn't, I didn't think about that. I just figured you could share yourself, but if it's not working, then definitely you can send them to me. Oh man, let's see. Oh, see, you shared. <laughs> okay, so am I sharing it right now? What What do you What, what do you see on your end? You're sharing the act. This screen. You're on this screen. So what I see is me, and um, I think that's Florence. Um, and then when you go, you just have to when you share. Um, you can cl click on the screen that you're trying to share. Um, so if I click, am I on the Dovia presentation here? It's changing. Hold on. Because it, it takes a second sometimes. So I see a white screen right now. Hmm. I'm just seeing a white screen. You should be able to see the screen that you're sharing. Oh, now it's back to the. Hmm. All right, let me try one more time here. If not, you can just email me your slides and I'll get them. Um, uploaded real quick and ready to go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Sorry, I know Teams throws everyone off. Okay, now I see your desktop. <laughs> uh, I okay, I, th I think I'm just going to email you my slides because okay. we're, we're a Google Meets Co company or org, whatever. And so I don't think my computer is having it. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to email you, Shannon. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> At least we got this figured out before it actually starts. So. <laughs>
Lawrence, are you talking to us? You're you're muted. Hold on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> We'll get started in just a few minutes here. Um, I'm going to get my slides up. If while we're waiting, you guys want to introduce yourself in the chat um, and tell your name, your org, what city you're located in, just so that everyone on the call can kind of get to know each other. That would be awesome. Where is chat? Um, so it should be at the very top of the screen. Um, there, should be, there should be a um, toolbar for you. So it should say people and then chat with a little talk bubble. No. If you don't, if you don't see it, it's okay. I know you're here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you guys see my first slide? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Not anymore. There it is. Yeah, I um I can't see the the screen like it goes black for some reason. So I just wanted to make sure it was up. <laughs> Almendra, did you get that emailed? Yes, I just sent you my or sent you my slides a couple seconds ago. Did it come through? It hasn't yet. I'm going to stop sharing for a minute so I can go look for our slides. Thanks everybody for being here. Please tell us who you are in the chat box. Oh, Almendra, how do you how do you play this as a what a slideshow? This opened as a PDF to me. Mm. What what um or what did you use for this? Canva. Mm. What do you prefer? I download it as. Um, my stuff is all um, I'm using PowerPoint, but um, it let me see if I can get it open through Canva. It just opened as a PDF. All right, I can try it. Let me try to download it. Uh, let's see what are my options here. I feel like I should just always welcome everyone to my lunch and learns and say right off the bat that there's going to be technical difficulties because I don't think I've had one so far. Um, this is my fifth one now, and I don't think I've had one that has not had any kind of problems whatsoever. So um, we're working on getting slides from our guest speaker. Give us just a second. We'll get started. I think if you if you share the PDF, don't you just scroll when you present it? I can scroll. Yeah, I can. Yeah. If, if you that's what you want me to do. Um I for lack of a better plan, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it works. <laughs> I'm a very go with the flow type of person. We're just gonna make it work. <laughs> the original plan was for me to share my screen so that it could be a presentation in Canva, but that <laughs> is not compatible. So so it's, it's all good. We got this. We got this. Okay. So, so in the interest of time, so I can get started. Oh, we're getting lots more people. Hello, everybody. Welcome. 
uh, make sure that you introduce yourself in the chat box so everybody knows who they're here with today. This is the wrong screen. Steven, I have problems sharing sometimes. It just doesn't want to work for me. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started since it is after 11. I just want to uh, welcome everybody to the uh, Lunch and Learn today. I'm super excited to have our guest speaker um, from Dobia. And um, so if you would please introduce yourself in the chat um, by giving your name, your organization, what position you hold in your city. This just kind of helps um, people to know who they're on with. Um, we did have um, we did have 57 people oh, register for today. Um, and that is uh, the, most, the most that we've had. Um, Almendra, are you oh, able yeah. to mute speakers? Sorry, let me put them. Sorry. Good to see you. <laughs> okay, so um, everybody introduce yourselves. Um, my name is Shannon Moore, for those of you who have not met me, um, and I am the Volunteer Generation Fund Program Officer for Nevada Volunteers. Um, and so my main focus is um, working with nonprofits and getting um, funds uh, to them to build capacity around volunteer management. And so that's what we're attempting to do with these lunch and learns is um, to do um, a little bit of learning around volunteer manager topics and then also allow people to um, ask questions and network with each other. Um, so I'm going to move, move on and talk about um, our volunteer management resources. Hi guys, if you're not muted, could you please take a second and mute your mic? Yeah, so anyway, so he didn't get to do his library yesterday. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I went over there to drop by like the binder and stuff because I made like a whole new binder and everything for. Okay, <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So Nevada Volunteers actually has um quite a few um, resources for volunteer managers throughout the state and I just thought I would take the opportunity to go over those today. Um, some of you might be familiar with some of these um, but I'm trying to go a little more in depth to show you exactly what they do so that um, you know um, the best way to utilize them and get the most out of them. So we have um, Envy Volunteer Connect which is our platform that connects volunteers looking to serve um, with nonprofits who need volunteers. Um, board Connect connects um, are those looking to serve on a board with board positions that our nonprofits have posted. Um, we just started a newsletter uh, this month actually. Um, I know Nevada Volunteers at one time used to have one, but um, it went away and so we brought those back. Um, we are doing the Lunch and Learns um, as a way to um, build capacity and help volunteer managers um, with their day-to-day -day activities. And then our new one, which I'm super excited about um, to talk about today, is our um, base camp, which is going to be our platform for sharing for uh, volunteer managers throughout the state. Uh, so uh, NB Volunteer Connect uh, is our platform uh, that volunteers can utilize uh, to find opportunities uh, with organizations or causes that they feel passionate about. This is what um, that looks like. This is on the front screen of our Nevada Volunteers website. And so I'm just going to go into a little bit about um, what these buttons do and, and the ways that you can utilize this website um, so that uh, you know all nonprofits can be on this website free of charge and utilize it to recruit volunteers. So when you hit the explore button, it takes you to this screen. Um, it, it's kind of much like the first screen, but um, it lists out all of our 553 results of our organizations that are on here at this point in time. Uh, but you can search uh, by causes uh, that interest you. You can also search by a um, specific organization name in case there's somebody that you really are interested in um, volunteering with. You can also enter a location, so your town, 
um, and then a so many mile, mile radius that you're willing to travel in order to um, volunteer with those organizations. And then also we just added um, court ordered service opportunities. So for um, people who have just been sentenced um, court ordered volunteerism, they can now come to our website and hit that button and it shows them the 95 organizations who accept um, court ordered volunteers. So um, if, if you're not seeing what you want up here, you're super curious, you can scroll through all of our organizations um, that, that are currently listed on the website. Um, if you hit the volunteer tab, um, that goes into a more concentrated search based on um, parameters that you choose. Um, so is this volunteer, um, you know, opportunity? This is these are the ages that we're looking for for it to be appropriate. Um, this is the type of work I'm looking for. Frequency. Um, do I need training? What um, what time is that evenings, anytime weekends, things like that. And then there's um, if if it's appropriate for groups. So this allows you to really narrow down your search if you're a volunteer or um, in charge of a volunteer group, maybe um, to get out into the community. So these are this is um, from the volunteers perspective of things that they're looking at. Um, the serve button then takes you to um, all of the AmeriCorps and VISTA positions that we that have available that are listed on our website. So if anyone's interested in those specifically, they can um, click that button and see what is available. Um, so this is an area that I feel like a lot of our nonprofits, they get on our website and and they're up there. And so what that means is that anybody can find you at any time. So it says, um, let's just take, um, I'll just say Dovia for the heck of it, right? And so Dovia has their organization up there and they have that they accept volunteers and this is how you reach us for volunteers. But this area on the website really talks about um, a very specific event that you need volunteers for. So if you have that 5K or big events where you're needing large amounts of volunteers, this helps you to narrow down that you're needing volunteers on a specific date for specific amount of times for specific responsibilities. So it's one thing to have your organization up on the website, but um, I would suggest that you utilize it to its fullest and that you're posting your upcoming um, events so that people can easily find you on a calendar. Um, this allows the volunteers to go in and say, okay, we're looking for something on, you know, June 2nd or whatever. And so they can go and look by date. Um, and then they can also see um, all of the things that are available, um, you know, calendar wise. So it, it kind of puts it into a date per perspective for them. Um, another area is um, items needed now. So if you have um, a wish list or items that you need donated um, and you're in need, you can add your organization with your wish list here to this area of the website um, and that will um, help you bring in donations. Sometimes people cannot volunteer, but they want to give back. And so this is a perfect way that that they can do that. So if you have things you need, this is the area that you want to be in. Um, the next resource that I wanted to talk about was our Board Connect. Um, we just launched this last October, so it's fairly new. Um, and this is our way of connecting um, board members, uh, people who want to serve on a board with open board positions within organizations. So I will be honest, I went and tried to um, find board uh, positions myself. And when I did that um, through LinkedIn, they wanted to charge me like $250. I went through another one. I think it was uh, advisory cloud. I'm not positive on that, um, but they all charged a fee and it was a pretty hefty fee at that for you to then turn around and volunteer your time, which to me is crazy. I don't, it might make sense to other people, but um, I think this is a, a great solution for that. And it's also really cool because of how it works. So basically we have um, board candidates that are going to go out and fill out their experience and interests, all the things that they've done. Um, the nonprofits go on and they post opportunities that define the role and the expectations, time commitment, things like that. But what 
um, Board Connect does that I think is really cool is that it calculates a relevancy score. So once the candidate has gone in and filled out all of their information, um, it will then give them a relevancy score to all of the positions posted. So um, the, the position that they relate to the most or that they have the most experience towards um, is going to show up with the highest relevancy score and then work its way down. Now, board candidates can search through um, all of the positions um, and they can respond to them. Uh, it doesn't say, oh, hey, this is only 50% relevancy, so we're not going to let you do that. Um, sometimes people want to learn a new skill or um, work with new people, and so sometimes they're wanting to try new things, so we don't want to stop them from doing that, um, but this is a really um, cool option for finding your board members. So like I said, it, it did just um, launch in October. Uh, last I checked, I think we had 17 board positions um, that were listed. And um, through VGF, we are going to be doing a concentrated um, push out through Nevada Broadcasters Association um, to try to get more and more candidates to go and fill those out. So um, any nonprofit can go on here and um, upload their, um, their opportunities. And then hopefully we will find you some amazing matches. Um, the newsletter I feel is a really awesome resource for all of you. Um, we just sent out, our, we have a lot of new things going on. Um, we just sent this out um, and I'm very excited about it. Um, so what this is going to have is everything Nevada volunteers. So um, it's going to keep you abreast of things like our Governor's Points of Light Awards, um, which I hope all of you on this call are, are nominating a person or an organization for those awards. Um, this is statewide recognition from the governor and so it's it's really free to you to nominate people and have your exemplary volunteers or um your um organizations nominated and so i hope you're all doing that um but the newsletter is going to have information on deadlines like like that um, for our lunch and learns, how to register. Um, and more importantly, it's going to have information about um, upcoming um, opportunities for funding. So if you are looking for grants through Nevada Volunteers um, to build capacity around volunteer management, um, that will be listed here in this newsletter. Also, um, if maybe you've never thought about um, utilizing AmeriCorps members or how that works, um, that information is going to be in here too or it's gonna give you links to lead you to learn how to do that. Um, so if you're not um, getting this, um, you're not a part of our constant contact, um, I would suggest registering for that. And I'm gonna give you the links for all these things here when I'm done talking um, on a slide so that you guys have those. Um, our lunch and learns, like I said, those are there specifically to help um, volunteer managers with their day to day duties. Um, it's really funny. We started out with um, the nine best practices for um, volunteer management. And then as I got into these lunch and learns with the questions that people were asking um, and um, some direction that people needed, I kind of started shifting uh, focus on to um, some of the topics that people were asking us about in the, in the phone calls. And um, which is great because I think it's an unlimited area that we can learn in. Um, there's never going to be um, an end all be all to um, learning how to work with volunteers. Um, and so I do want to say about this that um, I definitely want more guest speakers and I would love to have you, especially if there's something um, around volunteer management that you feel passionate about. Um, also, um, if you have a topic that you think should be addressed, I would love to hear that. So um, please feel free to um, shoot me an email um, and let me know what topic you would like to learn about. Um, these are all listed on Eventbrite, just so you know. Um, so if you're ever looking for one, you didn't get the newsletter, or for some reason you didn't get an email letting you know the link, um, you can search on um, Eventbrite for online events and Nevada volunteers, and you'll get all of our um, our lunch and learns that are there currently. Um, and this is what I'm super duper excited about. Uh, <laughs> so um, this is called Basecamp. Um, 
And we basically have made a um, volunteer managers networking platform for um, any volunteer managers throughout the state of Nevada. The cool thing about this is that there's a message board. Um, so if you have a question that you want to learn from other volunteer managers or, or get their input or need them to share a resource, um, you can post in the message board and it keeps all of your topics together. So if I posted that I'm having a really awful time recruiting since COVID, can somebody help with TikTok? tips or tricks of the trick, you know, do you have something you send out? What is it you're doing to get all these people? I can post that and anybody within the group can come on and tell me what it is they're doing. They're giving me um, their ideas and they can share files and documents as well. Um, and that will keep that all in one conversation. And then somebody can start a new conversation about a completely different topic um, and and that conversation can be started at the same time as well. Um, also, it will live here. So you are able to go in and research topics. Um, so say you're new to the game and, and you need help with something and you're not sure if it's it's been asked before, you can um, search it and see who all has posted about that topic. Um, this also has um, a place to share docs and files. Um, this is where I will now be sharing the Lunch and Learn resources. This um, recording of this video will be housed there. Um, and so people will be able to access it anytime they want. And um, it doesn't uh, give us the problem of trying to go through a Google Docs and being approved and not approved and things like that. And it will just live here forever. Um, Campfire is when somebody wants to start like a live chat and talk um, about a topic with people um, and they they want to do it now instead of waiting for answers. Um, there's also a schedule uh, schedule on here and I um, have added the next lunch and learn to that. So if somebody was like, oh, I haven't learned about the or haven't heard about it and I need to register for that, you could just go into this schedule and you can um, find out when the next Lunch and Learn is and see the link and register for it there. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to have a lot of uh, volunteer managers across the state join this group. Um, the one thing that I will uh, make sure that you know about in advance is that when you join this group, um, it does send out a email notification for every single response, but there's a way to change that. You're gonna to wanna to go in and change your notification settings and you can change it so that you get one email per day that talks about the topics. And then you can go in and if you're interested in seeing about those topics, you can go in and click on it and read it and see all the responses. Otherwise you're gonna get an email from every single person that responds, um, which can be a little annoying. So I wanted to make sure that um, I was letting you know in advance um, that you can do that. So you don't sign up and think, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many, so many notifications and I don't want it. And then you jump out of it. So don't do that. There is a way to change it. Um, and I'm more than happy to help anybody um, who needs it um, after you've joined. So these are the links to get to uh, the things that I was talking about. So our Envy Volunteer Connect is just on our website. It's nevadavolunteers.org. Um, Board Connect is also on our website, um, but I gave it the extra um, ending there on the URL so that you can go directly to it. If you would like to sign up for our newsletter in constant contact, that is the link. Um, and then that way you make sure that you're getting all of those updates from Nevada Volunteers. Um, like I said, the lunch and learn sessions are all going to be posted to Eventbrite and you can search for those. Um, I did try to go in and just put in Nevada volunteers and it didn't come up right away. So you're going to want to search online events first and then put in Nevada volunteers. Um, and then this is the um, link for you to join the base camp. Um, if for some reason you have any issues with any of these things, um, you can always email me so that I can um, send you the links in the email. Um, and as a matter of fact, I will send an email out after this presentation with the link to the base camp um, because I think that's the most important thing. Um, when we have these phone calls, the last 30 minutes are usually a lot of conversation um, around different questions that volunteer managers have. And I, I love that um, networking and helping each other. Um, but I 
think this is going to be really helpful because after we get off the call, then people tend to forget to respond. I got an email the other day that um, somebody said, hey, this lady on your last Lunch and Learn said she was going to email me about this topic. And now I don't remember who she is and she never got back to me and I don't know what to do. So um, I feel like this is a really awesome opportunity um, and, and way for us to go. So um, does anybody have any questions about any of the stuff that I went over? Hey, Shannon, it's Almendra. I have a yes. question for you. Yes. Um, are your organizations like Nevada volunteers person? Like you have the login. So as a, as a director at my agency, I'm the one that manages the Nevada volunteer login. Is that somehow attached to the base camp or is base camp like you can have several people at your organization using base camp logins? And then that's separate from the Nevada volunteers. Yeah, anybody anybody can log in. Um, anybody can have an account on there. Um, and just so you guys know, and I did put it in the little description at the top, it's not going to be like super monitored by me um, because that would just be like a whole lot of time out of my job to monitor what everybody what everybody's saying. Um, so I wanted to make sure that that's clarified so that you know I'm not constantly on there um, going through to make sure people are um, being cordial and actually um, sharing helpful things. I, I will check in there every now and then. And, and if I have good information, I'll give it. But yes, it's open. Like it's not like one Dovia login. It goes by your email pretty much. So you, you can all sign up if you want. Yeah. Any other questions about um, Nevada Volunteers resources. Okay, well, with that, then I am going to turn it over to the lovely Amindra from Dovia, who is going to talk about Dovia. <laughs> Let me share my screen. <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. That's you. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah. Thanks for sharing the slide so that I can see everybody. It's so weird when you can't see everyone. I know, I, I know, I hate it. It's even yeah. worse when, like, we're not prepared with the slides in advance. Okay, here we go. Can you see that? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'll introduce myself to the group. My name is Almendra Johnson. I am the volunteer program director with Get Outdoors Nevada. We're a Southern Nevada nonprofit that focuses on outdoor uh, stewardship and outdoor education. And I volunteer as a member of the Dovia board. So as Shannon was sharing her experience and trying to seek out a board position, I too found myself wanting to do more in my career and in my trade, and I volunteered to serve on the Dovia board. So I'm here to share what Dovia is and also encourage you to join us or um, to also just kind of seek out other professional trade organizations. And I'm definitely learning more for growth opportunities, but also, um, like Shannon mentioned, networking is also really great. Um, it it helps uh, it helps with mental health <laughs> in our job as volunteer uh, managers. All right, so I'll jump into my slide. Um, my contact information will be in the chat. Um, I'll I'll drop it in there in a sec, and so you feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I am located in Southern Nevada, however, in this virtual space that we're all navigating, it is really great to connect with a lot of. Um, Central and Northern Nevada org. So please don't let that keep you from reaching out. Uh, so Dovia, Dovia it stands for Directors of Volunteers and Agencies. Uh, it is a professional nonprofit organization. It is also national. So there are lots of regional arms of Dovia. So you may be familiar with two very popular ones on the West Coast, Dovia LA and Dovia Sacramento. They often invite um, out of staters to join their presentations and we're all in it for the same thing. We are a volunteer organization hooking up with other volunteer organizations to um, promote training, education, and mentoring. And so some of these chapters have been together since um, the early 60s. Uh, Dovia Las Vegas is, uh, Dovia Southern Nevada, excuse me, is not as old as the uh, Sacramento LA um, regional uh, groups, but uh, we're, we're still here. Um, there was a few years that we took a break, but um, I think one of our board members, Melissa McDonald, is in the group today as well. Hi, Melissa. I feel like you're more experienced with Dovia, but um, feel free to jump in if you have anything else to add. Okay. 
Oh, Shannon, I lost your slides. Sorry, I had to mute people. So you're going to have to unmute Almendra. Sorry. No problem. All right. So um, next slide, please. Thanks so much. So like I mentioned, we're based in Southern Nevada. Uh, we are mostly for our paid volunteer managers, volunteer coordinators, but so many of the organizations right now also have these positions as unpaid. And we welcome uh, those members as well. Any, any person who in their job description is managing volunteers, we are here to serve you. Dovia is for all of those categories. And I wanted to call out that although the word manager is in there, it is certainly for first time coordinators and um, not just for management positions. Uh, next slide. So uh, the, the pretty much the basic outline of Jovia is that um, as a professional trade organization, we meet quarterly. And so you might be wondering after Shannon's presentation, what makes us different than Nevada volunteers? We are just another resource. Nevada Volunteers is a statewide um, resource uh, that hits training in addition to recruitment, actually has a database, and you know, Shannon's starting up the newsletter again and the lunch and learns. Dovia is more of um, that professional side of it where we're really focused on developing you um, as a, a volunteer manager. And we are also networking, we're also sharing ideas. So um, that is also why Shannon invited me because we kind of have been partnering more as Nevada Volunteers is growing in their resource capabilities. We are excited for their growth because it helps us out as well. We get to share with Shannon and we get to um, benefit from the growth of their resources. Um, Dovia board members are all volunteers. So we all have our careers and we're also contributing um, hours to um, mentor and organize our member meetings. They are quarterly for two hours. We've recently um, added on a virtual happy hour where we kind of just chat as, you know, sit around, talk about what's going on, share funny stories, and uh, the official business starts at three. And we'll have uh, guest speakers, um, much like Shannon's Lunch and Learns. We also seek ideas from the community. What does everybody want to learn about? Um, the meetings this year are going to remain virtual. So we invite our Northern Nevada organizations to please reach out and join us um, for the foreseeable future. They will be virtual. We haven't made the transition to in-person member meetings yet. Um, there's just a lot of uh, change going on in our communities. We're all still navigating uh, staff changes and a lot of the nonprofit organizations um, are not fully staffed. They have a lot of virtual work from home options. So. Um, in the spirit of that, we think that staying virtual makes us more accessible to everyone. And so we're going to we're going to stay that way for a bit. Uh, we do have in person opportunities. However, uh, we also outside of our quarterly meetings get together to volunteer with one another. Uh, we are planning a happy hour in June. So for Southern Nevada members, uh, we do want to call out that there are opportunities to network in person coming up. Uh, let's see. Um, Go to the next slide for me, Shannon. Thank you. So some of the past meeting topics, um, we've covered in depth uh, volunteer recruitment tools. We um, at our last meeting, we covered some real critical issues in volunteer management. We had um, our guest speaker was Greg um, Wilkin. He is a, a human resources lawyer and he joined us to kind of give um, an overview of some hot topic issues and things to look for. Um, our upcoming members meeting in August is um, going to welcome an expert in diversity, equity, and inclusion training. And we're going to cover how that pertains to volunteer management. So we're really excited about that guest speaker. We've also had some really fun um, November meetings where we cover volunteer appreciation topics. We get to brainstorm and share ideas as uh, that holiday season brings um, that opportunity to thank all of our amazing volunteers. We also get stuck with ideas. We don't always want to do the same thing. So our Dovia member meetings are also a great opportunity to roundtable and share um, amazing ideas. I always take notes at these meetings and I'm always getting really neat um, ideas for what to do in our organization. 
Um, we're also going to be talking um, in the upcoming member meetings about um, the CFA, the certification, certification in volunteer administration. We'll have a guest speaker um, talk about what that is and how best to go about that and what it means for your organization. So I uh, definitely want to, you know, shout out some cool upcoming meeting topics. Um, I am the VP of education, so I am definitely the person who wants your suggestions and ideas for upcoming meeting topics. Is there something you really want to learn more about? Uh, we are connected to a great um, network of orgs, guest speakers, and experts in the field. So we definitely, like with Shannon, are looking for those people that want to share their experience and expertise. Uh, next slide. So how much is Dovia? So as a nonprofit, we are using our funding to cover our expenses, like keeping our website. Um, we also offer some prizes during our member meetings. And then of course, for our in-person opportunities, we do have a small budget to provide snacks and resources. Uh, it is $25 a year for an organization and each additional member is $10. So if you are a volunteer manager and a coordinator wanting to participate, that would be $35. Um, there are some scholarship opportunities available, so please reach out um, if you are interested and maybe your org doesn't have funding for it. We um, do offer um, a bit of a, an, a, I guess we'll call it a discount. If you renew um, in the fall, we extend your membership a little bit longer than a year. Um, Northern Nevada organizations, we do invite you to join us. We would love um, to have you participate at our virtual meetings. Um, and although the in-person things might be a little bit more challenging, uh, we do have some orgs that actually travel to Southern Nevada. So we try to create opportunities for um, regional networking as well. Next slide. So just an example of our member network from this past year. If you'll scroll down a little bit, um, Shannon, you can kind of show everyone. We have lots of orgs participating and we're really excited to have these resources from each of these groups. We often, like I said, we swap ideas, we share concerns, um, but also we share volunteers. And that's something that I know um, Nevada Volunteers is working um, really hard to create that networking where, you know, I might not be an org that takes court ordered uh, community service volunteers, however, this other org might, or let's say I have a large event coming up like that 5K and I need more, more volunteers and we can help each other kind of recruit for opportunities. So um, being part of this member network opens those doors. Um, there is you know, often turnover in um, a lot of the volunteer coordinator position. So having uh, this network allows um, new uh, staff members to join kind of seamlessly, to have this network, to ask questions, uh, to be well received and mentored. Uh, so definitely, um, you know, that that is what we're here for in Dovia and also Nevada volunteers. Like I said, there's a lot of overlap, um, which is great because we want to make sure that, you know, we're all doing really great work, that there is a standard of care in our, you know, trade that, you know, even though we're different regions that we're all approaching, you know, volunteer management in a similar way and, um, you know, that we're able to to help each other out and not let one organization struggle just for the sake of the struggle. We're here to help. Uh, and then to next slide. So we'd love to see you at our upcoming meeting. Um, please reach out vegasdovia at gmail.com. Um, we do have a WordPress site if you would like to check us out. Um, we are available for any questions and Shannon has me as her resource for anything, just like I reach out to Shannon for everything. But um, if you have any questions in the group, I'd love to take some questions now. I just wanted to add, I know you said, yes, we welcome all Northern Nevada people to meetings, but um, you actually have a board member in Northern Nevada. So I just, I wanted people to understand like that they should feel comfortable. You know, this isn't just for Southern Nevada and Rachel's up there doing her thing. And I know she's wanting to have like get togethers up there as well. So like, I just want to make sure people realize like this is not just for Southern Nevada and you'd be like the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for calling. Yeah, thank you for calling that out, Shannon. Yeah, definitely think a, a long-term goal would be to have um, Adobia Northern, North and South. Um, but until then, we are perfectly happy to share resources and definitely grow with each other. 
Um, yeah, Rachel is with Immunize Nevada in Northern, um, should be said, Reno, I believe. And she's on our board. And, and that would be another opportunity for someone looking to, um, to grow in their professional development. Uh, our Dovia board is a really great way to test that out. So if you've been thinking about joining a board, we're super friendly, nice, I promise, and not scary. Uh, we'd love to help you um, gain that experience as a board member, help us plan some of our member meetings and perhaps um, work on our events committee. Uh, that's a great way to have a board position, great for your resume, great for professional development. Um, and, I mean, I have a good time doing it. It doesn't take up a whole lot of time. I'm able to, you know, my, my job keeps me pretty busy, but being able to do the Dovia, it's, it's a volunteer gig for me as well. We're trying to get Shannon to join our board too. I said I would. I just got to <laughs> find the right fit. <laughs> um, I do want to say, Melissa, is there anything you'd like to add about um, Dovia? You are one of our mentors um, and former board members, so I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to, to say anything. Just that it's been a very good opportunity to learn what, what to do and not to do with all the networking. Um, because I came into volunteer management without any background in it. Uh, and it was a very good experience to have Dovia there. Uh, and people that are new and uh, seasoned with volunteer management are all there for you to ask questions and get ideas. Great organization. I just popped in our email address in the chat, vegasdovia at gmail.com. If you have any questions, please reach out um, on a more uh, personal level. If you have any questions for me, I'll also pop in my email address in there for you. Yeah, and I also just put the base camp link in the chat. Uh, I had several people asking um, for that. Uh, I will um, be sending this out. So um, the recording should go out tomorrow um it won't be today um i'm just looking if we have any other questions uh i sent in a nomination oh for um the governor's points of light awards um it should have sent you a confirmation email lisa so um let me check on that and make sure that, I, that we got one from you. Um, so, cause I do G poll, so I'll, I'll make sure that we have that. Um, and I think I have your email, so I can always just shoot you an email and let you know. Uh, do you have to be a nonprofit? What about other agencies? Um, you don't have to be a nonprofit. If you um, are a manager of volunteers and, and you want this information, you want to network, the more the merrier. Um, that, you know, even corporate, programs have volunteer, um, you know, employee volunteer engagement programs and things like that. They're all welcome to join. Um, just I, I feel like they're strength in numbers and the more heads we have, the more information we have and the better we're all going to do. So um, we welcome everyone. I don't I don't see any other questions. Did anybody have any other questions for Almendra or the rest of the the presentation. Stephen, did you have a question? Yeah, um, I haven't really explored the NB Volunteer Connect yet. To mm -hmm. well, um, just out of curiosity, because I'm sure it does a lot of useful things in terms of the volunteer. Um, uh, side of things, does it integrate with other stuff? So our organization usually uses a, a couple programs. In an ideal world, we would use one um, for like right. fundraising, for um, constituents to um, um, to keep up with our newsletter. Does that integrate with anything like MailChimp or Salesforce or anything like that? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's kind of like a, it's just kind of like a database that houses okay. your organization's information in order for them to get to you. So um, with the way Nevada Volunteer Connect works is they don't even put information in. Your information is sitting there and it's waiting for them to contact you to tell you that they want to volunteer with you. And so okay. you'll get an email 
from them. Um, okay. All they fill out, I think, is their name and their phone number and their email, possibly. You'll get that, and then you can respond to them. So we cut ourselves out of the middle, and um, uh -huh. also it, it doesn't integrate to any other programs. So once you onboard your volunteers, then you take that information and that's where you'd put it into your database system, your Salesforce, whatever it is that you're utilizing. Okay. Thank yeah, you. it's just another recruitment tool really to, yeah. to get people. And now I, I did notice and I'm really excited about it, but when you put like volunteers in Nevada or whatever, like we are one of the first things that pop up now. Um, so that's great news because that means that's the first place people are being directed when they're looking for volunteer opportunities in our state. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I think that's going to be really helpful. And that's also other uh, pleasant news for the search engine optimization because that's always hard to do. Um, yeah. Yeah, good question. Yeah. Shannon, I just want to add that um, the more organizations are using Nevada Volunteer Connect, the more search, um, higher search uh, results it gets. So mm -hmm. even in this last year that we've, um, we don't post events on Nevada Volunteers, but we have our organization information. And so often, we'll get referrals from the site. And it, it's a great resource for high school students and college students who just go one place and kind of do that, um, the distance search. And that's how they find us. And so the more people are using your site, Shannon, it's great because it, it, it yeah. does populate quicker. And um, we, you know, we still get those referrals, which is wonderful. So even though we're not using it in a full capacity, Get Outdoors Nevada, still, it's still nice to be part of that um, database. Yeah. Awesome. Well, if nobody has any other questions about our resources that we have shared, um, I would love to hear if you have a specific resource that you utilize that you'd like to share with everybody else to make sure they know how wonderful it is. Did anybody come with some awesome stuff? <laughs> This is going to be a short lunch and learn, guys. <laughs> um, we're looking into learning a, pro, a tool for managing our volunteers and their hours and communications. Mm -hmm. uh, right, what I've been looking into since I think our last lunch and learn when some of the folks shared some of their resources and I didn't even know volunteer management systems existed until that last session. Um, it's called Time Count. And there's a free version, there's a premium. I'm looking at the free before we even commit to anything like that. Um, but it does seem pretty useful for like broadcasting events and allowing people to self sign up and take out the, the hassle of tracking people's volunteer hours. And since it, it has them create a login, they can look all that up themselves. Um, we work, my organization specifically works with youth. So I was looking more on how to track these hours for our youth when they do their volunteer commitment. So, when they are seniors in high school or even after that, they, they'll know exactly how much and they can share that in their applications for scholarships or opportunities. Um, so far, it seems pretty good and I know it stinks with Salesforce, which I'm also looking into. I, like I said before, I'm ideally looking to use one program that might be a CRM, volunteer management slash fundraising. Salesforce might do that. So, but I think time counts right now looks pretty useful for that and we have some complicated situations where some where we have adult volunteers and speak our students um, and they get to self-select uh, the dates that they'll come to our office and speak to our students and it seems to have a, a process like that so you can create multiple time slots for people to do far in advance so that way um, we can break away from like the excel sheets which we've been using in the past just because it was at least easier to understand uh, right. But I, that might be just what's called time counts. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that. Um, that has been a really hot topic on every single lunch and learn is what database management like are you using to uh, keep track of your volunteers, check them in, um, keep all that information like their anniversary dates so that you're doing proper recognition, things like that. Um, it has been a really hot topic. I did actually have. Um, somebody who runs one of those or the salesperson basically, um, but reach out to say, hey, I'd, I'd be ha happy to jump on. So I'm working on a lunch and learn with several of those types of people that can like maybe give short demos and really help us see what their um, platform does.
does so that it's helpful for everybody because I feel like that's plaguing a lot of people. Um, also, something that keeps coming up um, for any of you, if you have or would like to speak on this, um, we have some organizations that are just having a really terrible time with um, getting their volunteers to actually show up. So they're doing all the things, they're sending out, you know, the reminder emails and talking with them extensively and explaining how important their job is and they're just not um, showing up, which then kind of sh shuts down the whole volunteer process at the events that they're doing. So if anybody has like really good um, information for that, please get a hold of me because I'd like to get you in touch with that volunteer manager because she's literally at her, at her wits end. So. Hey, uh, that, Shannon, if yeah. you want to direct that volunteer, we covered that topic. Um, I know. So if you want, well, I was going to say the presentation is on the Dovia site. Oh, nice. And it's literally called how to get volunteers to show up. But if you want, okay. if you want to share that with them and just as like an immediate resource and yeah. then um, they can kind of check that out. I will. I did share a lot of your information with her just because it was so funny. She called right after your, your presentation. So I was sharing and she's like, we've tried that. We've tried that. We tried that. She's just really frustrated. So I'm really hoping that this is this platform on Basecamp is really going to make a difference in all of you communicating with each other and being able to help each other out because that's you know, it's all about community, right? Um, and us being there for each other. So, man, this is like shortest lunch and learn in the history of lunch and learns. Brandon, what, what do you have? <laughs> yeah, so um, I just wanted to speak to the, what system we use to track because um, my organization, so I'm with Communities and Schools of Nevada mm -hmm. from our Western Nevada affiliate here in Reno. Um, but statewide, we were working on, um, just unifying all of our processes across the state, making sure that we have a set system on how we onboard, what paperwork we need, how to differentiate the paperwork because some of our volunteers will work with minors. So we have to do, um, you know, the background checks for that. Some won't, so they may not um, use those forms. And then we extensively went into um, how we wanted to track those hours and knowing that, um, Oftentimes, a a volunteer that has been stewarded well is likely to become a donor, and so we utilize a system called Donor Perfect. And so we just went through, um, and I, I uh, created the process by which we would add a new volunteer into Donor Perfect. How we would track their hours, because um, there there is a way that you could track volunteer hours in a separate space on on a um, constituents profile donor perfect we decided to add it in um, as a gift um, so that way we could track if they donated not just their time through volunteering but also maybe donated money or in-kind items um, that we could pull a report on that supporter and and see every avenue by which they've supported the organization and so I'm I'm happy to like speak on that show. Uh, I mean, we do we we as an organization chose this platform, so we do pay for the license for that um, to utilize it. But if there are organizations who are ready and and are willing to to utilize that platform, I definitely am willing to give a little demo on on how we track. That would be awesome. I, I think it, probably it's better coming from like your perspective than a salesperson's perspective because you're going to give the honest nitty gritty feedback on how it actually operates versus the salesperson who's going to make it sound like the easiest thing in the world to use. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so that would be great, Brandon. Thank you so much. Um, I will get in touch. Can you shoot? No, I have your email. I have your email. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll be in touch. So okay. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, and then someone else said Volgistics has been great. Um, a lot of people have that one, Shannon. That might be one yeah. if you could get someone that has it. That's a very common like starter database for nonprofits. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then someone asked if anyone has a youth internship program. Um, I would love to hear from you. And they gave their email address. So if anybody on here has that, if you can um, take Irene's email address, 
so that you can contact her outside of this call. That would be awesome. Or if you want to talk now, since we're so we were so short on time. I mean, we're not short on time. We ran short. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Hi. <laughs> I'm I'm Irene. <laughs> um, I'm here from Las Vegas, Nevada. So hello to everyone. Um, Almendra, hello. Um, just wanting to uh, chime in and thank you for reading what I just wrote. Um, we run a youth uh, works internship program. They start as volunteers. And then when they reach their 80 volunteer hours, they, uh, they can apply for the um, internship. However, you know, you talk about volunteers and how to you know bring them in and so of course as volunteer managers we're all trying to think of fresh ideas and things that will really try to bring them in and excite them um, and um, the internship program has been one of those um, motivators for uh, because they do have to earn 80 hours before they apply um, it is a program that you know we it's I mean the museum has been around for 32 years, and I think 30 of those 32 years we've had the internship program. Um, but I mean, it really has been a motivator to, you know, for those kids that really want to continue. Some of those um, interns who complete the program go on to uh, be employees at the museum. Um, so it's a really great transition. And I feel like having that scaffolding, you know, in your program uh, motivates uh, volunteers, especially when they're so young and they're still trying to figure out you know, what they want to do. And when they see that there is um, that promotion level, you know, as a volunteer, I know that has been a great motivator. Granted, don't get me wrong, sometimes I do struggle to you know, find those kids that want to make the transition. Uh, but when they do, they it's word of mouth, right? You know, it's like, yeah, I know what, it was great, but it is difficult to keep it fresh. That's why if any of you have any kind of um, youth internship program, um, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear the great ideas that you come up with to keep it fresh, to keep it alive. Um, and, you know, if you can share anything with me, I am more than open to hear any new ideas. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. And Irene, we should add you to the base camp group and start that as a topic. Oh, yeah, as you, a matter, could, you could be yeah. the first topic on there. As <laughs> and then fact, everybody can answer. I gave you guys kudos earlier on that because I think that's a great idea. Thank you. That was all me. I'm going to take credit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited. Sorry. High five. High five. We, get on these, we get on these calls and everybody has these questions and I don't know how to link people to each other sometimes and so i think this is just going to be an awesome way to do that so um yay okay does anybody have anything else that they would like to share a question okay well since i don't hear any for, from anybody i don't want to keep you on too long i want to um thank you all for attending today i really appreciate you being on the call and especially for those of you who speak up and give feedback. Um, thank you to Almendra and Dovia. I hope you get a ton of new members and um, I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you, Shannon. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Bye, everyone. Shannon, do you need anything from me before I log off? No, I'm just making sure there's no last minute comments because sometimes that okay. happens. <laughs> thank you for hosting and good luck at your wedding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'll, I'll talk to you later, uh, married lady. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>